Coast Science Center in Sacramento. Right now, you are looking at a robot that the Navy uses when it comes to very certain and specific situations, specifically uh, security for um, national security, rather. Absolutely. So we use these robots to help keep our soldiers and sailors safe downrange. Uh, the first one is the iRobot Sug V. It disarms IEDs. Obviously, has an arm for manipulating, grabbing, and doing stuff. It has multiple cameras for looking. Night vision, day vision. And the other little guy, he's our first look, um, made by iRobot. It has four cameras, easy backpackable for my uh, special forces guys. I can cool. huck it over the wall and make sure we're safe before we go into a target. Absolutely. We just came out and you guys looked like you were having so much fun hanging out with these robots. The cool thing is, your kids get to come and do the same thing, get really hands on. We're celebrating Navy Week, which kicked off yesterday. In fact, yesterday we were at the NOSC in Sacramento, today at the Powerhouse Science Center, um, having some fun with all these tools. And again, this comes down to national security. Usually, in any other circumstances, we would not be able to get so hands on. But today, we can. So aside from that, we are also talking about bomb suits, which in case you're wondering what in the world I am wearing, this is not what I chose to wear to work today. <laughs> Rather, this is something um, when it comes to being safe while in the field. Absolutely. And I think it's a perfect news ensemble for you. So you can wear it the rest of the day if you want. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. So this is just the beginning. So why don't you, while putting the jacket on, tell me how the Navy does actually use STEM education. Okay, so basically for us, the bomb technicians, Navy STEM education is important because of physics, math, uh, engineering. So when you deconstruct a bomb, you're using a lot of applied physics to take it apart. So it's not just drive the robot down there and blow something up. Wow, well, there we go. Oh, this is heavy, Max. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. A little sneak your arm in the hole right there. Oh, there you go. Oh my goodness. There yeah, it's go. got a little weight so to it. Talk weight. Quite a bit. So the weight of the suit okay. all together is approximately 80 pounds. Ooh. So you're getting your workout on today. Hopefully you didn't skip leg day. No, I didn't. In fact, I just got done doing a dancing segment. So I'm thinking I should do the, the Drake challenge in this outfit. There you go. Yeah. Um, and last but not least, why, would, why, why should kids come out and spend some time with you guys today? So um, for, for the kids to come out, uh, it just gives them a, a brief experience with the sailors. They learn about the sailor's story okay. um, and basically they learn about some of our tools. So we basically have our bomb suits, our robots. We have a uh, weather station. We have Naval Academy. Um, so if you're interested in any of those and learning about those, um, and even our Navy divers brought out their dive helmets, and basically we can talk to you about like how diving works and how physics and medicine works. Awesome. Thank you so much, Matt. Thank you for your service as well. All right, you guys, I think we should wrap this up by doing the Drake and My Feelings Let's challenge. Let's see it. Let's yeah. Do it see it. Why not? Yeah, All do right, it. Let's, can we play the audio? It's go time. Here it comes. Good luck. <laughs> there it is. I need you to do the hop. <laughs> there it is right there. <laughs> Do the little driving move. Right, uh huh. Move. Uh huh. And then back again. <laughs> All right. And then drive it out. All right. Then hop. Over the set. Then hop back. Here we go. <laughs> Look at those guys. I <laughs> don't know what to think. I really feel like she should be leading them through an instruction. I think so. Very Did much you teach so. those guys the dance? Come on. This is included. <laughs>